Good day. A little while ago, I bought a um, an old Hilux Ute, a um, 22R, which is I think a 2.4 litre petrol Hilux 93 model, carby, so no air fire or anything like that. And for as long as I've known this car, it's um, it's required like a double twist of the ignition key to to get it to start. The original owner told me that um, that was some sort of security feature that was put into it, like an anti theft device or something. But I don't know. I didn't really believe it at the time, and, and now I can see that I don't think it was true. This here is the um, starter relay, and um, it's called a self-timer. Now, it's not often that a, a new electromechanical device sort of comes into my realm where I think, well, I've never heard of that before, but yeah, this is a, a relay which has a, a bit of electronics on it, so there's an IC there. I haven't worked out what that IC is yet, but I'll um, I'll try and work it out and put a note somewhere. And it's got a capacitor and a resistor, so maybe some sort of RC network going on there for, for timing. Now they're pretty expensive, these things, and Toyota have replaced these with standard relays, so no more electronics in them. So if you, if you look there, you can see there's an IC. Uh, sorry about everything being grubby here, I've been working on the car, and, there, and there's an electrolytic capacitor there as well, about there. Um, that electrolytic capacitor is actually leaking um, electrolyte, so it's, uh, it's obviously uh, on its way out or failed. So the first thing I was going to do is replace that electrolytic capacitor and see if that fixes the thing. And if that doesn't, then I'll convert it into a standard relay. Take the electronics out all together and just have the coil windings across um, the, 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 the two coil inputs and, um, yeah, replace the whole time a bit. I'm not sure why these things exist. Some people suggest that they might be there for use in um, diesel engines where they need to be a, a delay when you've got the ignition on and you're on the start. Uh, for the glow plugs to, to operate, and um, other people say that, well, it's actually a uh, timer so it's, it, it won't stay on for too long in case you just somehow keep the, the car cranking when the car started. Um, but the, the interesting thing is that uh, these are only on manual vehicles, not automatic vehicles, both petrol and diesel, which t maybe takes that glow plug thing out, and their replacement... Um, upgrade is a standard relay without any of these electronics. But I think the first thing I'll do is try and replace that electrolytic capacitor. It's hard for me to get it on the camera here. And uh, see if that does it. Fixes the thing. And uh, if not, I'll convert it over to a standard relay and uh, get out of it cheaply that way. Well, I've pulled that capacitor out. There it is. It's going to be hard to see there. I haven't got good lighting here, but there's liquid coming out the base of that capacitor there. Looks like it's a uh, 10 microfarad, is it 20 volts? What is it? Uh, so I'm doing this off camera. 25 volt DC working voltage. So uh, I'll see if I've got something in my um, in my supplies here at home to match that. Uh, 125 degrees temperature rating on it, which might be the issue, but I'll, I'll go and find something close enough, I think, and put it in and have a look and see how it goes. I'll touch up some of the um, the solder joints on here. There was some stuff there that looked a little bit dodgy. Uh, not just the stuff that I've desoldered, but uh, there was some other joints there around that. Um, oh, there's a, now I can see inside it. There's a diode, a resistor. There's another power resistor in here as well. So it looks like like a one watt job there. There's a quarter watt job there, and then like a that diode there, just a standard rectifier diode, like a um, uh, one double four oh four or something, or well, might be a shock key one because um, that might be for back EMF to protect all the electronics, of course, because you know you've got back EMF with coils. Uh, so that was off camera. So I'll put a capacitor in it and do some tests, and uh, if that works, I'll put it back in and see why it was a, a thing, why it was even needed, what the effect was. Um, but I'm erring on the the side of just getting rid of all those electronics all together and just turn it into a standard relay. But let me go and find a capacitor. Alright, I had a quick look through my um, supply of electrolytic capacitors and come up with this one. It's uh what is that? It's a 47 microfarad, 50 volt 
DC working voltage. Temperature rating 105, a little bit lower than the original. Um, I'm going to put it in and see how it goes. I know how to start this car now if it uh, if the relay doesn't actuate, so I'm just short out the contacts and uh, and get the uh, solenoid engaged and motor started if, uh, if things get desperate. So it's not critical if this fails or whatever. So I will put this one in and have a bit of a test and see what happens. I've put that um, capacitor in. It's, you know, about five times bigger than the original one that came out in capacitance. But uh, I might put it on the bench there, put 12 volts across it, see what happens. And then go and put it in the car. It's dark outside now, but uh, I think it's, I think it's going to work. We'll see how it goes. I've just installed that new capacitor, and if there's any timing sort of effects I should be expecting, I'm not seeing it, so I'll just uh, put the bench supply on now. Straight away, the relay actuates, no delay, nothing. Take it away. There's no discernible sort of timing effects going on there. So there might be something else wrong with the, the timing circuitry in it, which I'm not going to fix. I'm going to leave it like that. I'll put it back together and put it in the car and see if this has fixed the, the double twisting um, scenario that I had with this thing. For It's been like that for years, actually. And if it hasn't, then I'm going to take that uh, timing circuit out altogether because I don't think we need it. But it's reliably actuating the uh, armature there. But uh, no timing. Still don't know why they put the timing in there, but... I reckon I'll put it in the car and see how it goes. Straight away, look at that. It's fixed. So before I used to have to double twist it to get it started, sometimes that wouldn't work. Perfect. Simple. Don't spend a hundred bucks on a bloody relay.